everyone. My presentation is based on post-traumatic stress disorder, domestic violence, and women. Introduction. Violence against women is highly prevalent in Guyana. Boundaries of culture, class, education, income, ethnicity, and age. It is a severe issue in all regions of our country. Many other countries worldwide are also dealing with the issue of domestic violence against women. Studies have shown that in both developing and developed countries, domestic violence and particularly the abuse of women by their male partners is among the most common and dangerous forms of domestic violence. Domestic violence involves the willful intimidation, physical assault, battery assault, and other abusive behaviors as a part of a systematic pattern of power and control against another. In spite of all the actions taken by agencies, the fact still remains that global dimensions of domestic violence are alarming. As highlighted by this study, on its incidence and prevalence, no society can claim to be free of such violence. The only variation is the patterns and trends that exist in the countries and regions. Our World Health Organization says the home is not a safe place for many women today. This declaration is indisputably true in Guyana. Our Guyanese women are published in the newspapers with tags such as shot, hacked, beheaded, stabbed, burnt, strangled, drunk, mercilessly beaten, chopped. Reliable statistics are not readily available, but they are records from various organizations on the cases that were dealt with. Between January, September 2006, Help and Shelter, which is one of the most prominent organizations that assists women who are victims of abuse, dealt with 297 cases involving spousal abuse directed against women. A disturbing 61% of these cases were spousal abuse. So we can see how highly prevalent this is in our country. The above statistics should indicate that domestic violence is a major social policy concern because of its perverse occurrence in our country. Therefore, its aftermath on women should be examined and highlighted. This research contributes to the latter movement. It focuses on the psychological impact that domestic violence has on women. Since domestic violence is a major source of trauma to women, this research will investigate the correlation of domestic violence, women, and post-traumatic stress disorder. This study hypothesizes that post-traumatic stress disorder is prominent among women who have been exposed to domestic violence. Because the magnitude of domestic violence is wide-ranging for the victim, it presents a serious public health concern, which has implications for the victim's quality of life and long-term health. While the impact of physical abuse may be more visible than psychological scarring, which involves repeated humiliation and insults, forced isolation, limitations on social mobility, and constant threats, the, the violence and injury, they all have dreadful effects on the mental health status of women. The common diagnosis by mental health professionals for battered women is post-traumatic stress disorder. What is post-traumatic stress disorder? PTSD is a syndrome that can develop in some individuals after they have been exposed to an extreme traumatic stressor. It is not difficult to imagine that many incidents of domestic violence will meet the criteria for extreme traumatic stressor. People who suffer from PTSD often relive the experience through nightmares and flashbacks, have difficulty sleeping and feel detached or estranged. And these symptoms can be severe enough to last long enough to significantly impair the person's life. Domestic violence. The term domestic violence refers to a pattern of behavior centered on issues of power and control in the family. It is the willful intimidation, battery assault, sexual assault, or other abusive behaviors perpetrated by an intimate partner against another with a specific objective. The participants in this study were placed into two categories. Category A involved interviewing five women in the age range of 25 to 35 who were victims of domestic violence to gather precise verbal information about the presence and severity of PTSD symptoms. Using semi-structured interviews, this part of the study captured a vivid part of the aftermath 
by observing and recording immediate responses to questions asked and receiving additional in information on their experiences. Category B for this study involved a survey of 25 women who experienced domestic violence and now resides at a help and shelter organization in Guyana within the age ranges of 21 to 45. A sample was randomly chosen. The post-traumatic stress disorder test was given to participants to form in the form of a questionnaire to be filled out by simply checking yes or no. The data received from the questionnaire was then processed and the diagnosis was made according to the, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders 4th edition. The study of 30 women experienced domestic violence who are exposed to domestic violence showed empirical evidence that post-traumatic stress disorder indeed correlates with domestic violence against women. This study examined the symptoms associated with post-traumatic stress disorder and domestic violence as it relates. Category A involved interviewing the five women. This, this category exposed very, very, um, this category exposed very important information based on their experiences, what they actually went through, and how they, how they have come to experience the symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. The results showed that 10, all 10 women from, out of 5 women, no, out of 10 women, 5 women experience anxiety. They have difficulty sleeping, nightmares, flashbacks, angry outbursts, exaggerated, startled responses, numb, emotional numbing, avoidance of post-traumatic stress disorder, and are unable to think about the future. They all experience physical and mental, emotional, economic, sexual, and verbal abuse. From the diagnosis, 16 women were diagnosed with acute post-traumatic stress disorder, 7 women had met the criteria for a chronic PTSD, and two women did not meet the criteria for post-traumatic stress disorder. The bar graph shows the amount of abuse the women experienced. The pie chart shows who were diagnosed, the percentage of women who were diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder and those who were not. As we can see from the pie chart, 8% of women were diagnosed with acute were diagnosed sorry did not meet the criteria for post-traumatic stress disorder six to four percent of women met the criteria for acute post-traumatic stress disorder this study examined the correlation of post-traumatic stress disorder domestic violence and women and it can be said that they all correlate I therefore looked at the symptoms of women who experienced domestic violence and it does correlate with the symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. The data collected from participants were carefully examined to determine whether or not the diagnostic criteria for PTSD was met. The results has empirically shown that the traumatic experiences of domestic violence were likely to develop were likely to develop post-traumatic stress disorder. The purpose of this research was to investigate whether domestic violence and post-traumatic stress disorder correlates and highlight its involvement in the aftermath of domestic violence. The research has also identified that the extent of domestic violence experienced by women over time is wide-ranging. It was recognized that the majority experience physical and sexual violence, which are major sources of trauma. To conclude, women, domestic violence, and post-traumatic stress disorder are without a doubt correlated. Trauma is the source of pain that triggers uphold and its smoldering effects dim the lights of women who endured its fateful trauma. The aftermath of domestic violence on women is severe and it is tied to post-traumatic stress disorder. So we need more public awareness on the aftermath of domestic violence. We need to be aware that the effects of domestic violence is more severe than it is actually seen in, in, our, in the daily life.
in society, there is not much attention given to post-traumatic stress disorder. There is not much attention given to the mental health of abused women. So I would just like to say that further research should be done on the topic of post-traumatic stress disorder, women and domestic violence. Thank you.